Okay guys, pause this video and take a second to read this question. I'm going to skip straight to the answer. So if you wanna know how I got the value of C, go watch this video, which this example is pulled from. Okay guys, so Desmos um, recently added this feature to the Blue Book app where you can export points of interest. This really should have been in the lesson number 20, but I made that video before this feature was added, so I digress. So you'll see I just typed in the equations and the answer, negative 20 thirds. And something kind of neat you can do now is, and I always struggle with this, you have to like, you sometimes have to zoom in and, you know, mess around to find where a line meets a quadratic uh, at a tangent. Well, now what's kind of convenient is um, you could click on the point and then click on this part, export point, and... Like before it would just kind of hide and go away. But now if I do that, right, see how like it's not there anymore. But now if I label, if I export it, um, I can label it and the point will always be there. And that's kind of helpful because let's say you wanted to learn more about the problem. And let's say I made C like negative eight. And I could kind of move this slider around and kind of see, all right, that point is where I want it to be. And even if it's not super helpful on the test, it can definitely help you with conceptual understanding while you're studying. Now, I just want to remind you guys that um, this point, as you can see, it doesn't use the exact value. So that's that x coordinate is two thirds, and you see it doesn't give me the exact fraction. So um, if you're hoping to use this strategy, and it doesn't do so here either. So if you're going to use that strategy, to try to solve equations to get the fraction answers to complex equations, it's not going to really help with that. It's more just a convenience. Let's move on. Okay, guys, pause this video. Take a second to read this question. Again, I'm going to be going straight to the answer. So if you want to see my by hand solution, go check out the video. This is from problem set day number nine. Okay, everyone, same deal. I just typed this one in with the answers, which I figured out by solving it by hand. Um, the College Board will give you nicer numbers and everything, so don't worry about that. So um, this is going to be tangent at this one point. So you see, it's like hmm, I can't. It's not even popping up. You see that if you look closely, that gray dot isn't even popping up. But if I if I click and I get the zoom like just right, I should be able to find it. And it's really aggravating. It's kind of a shortcoming of the software. Oh, it just popped up for a second. Did you see that? Okay, great. I got it. So let me click on this. And you can imagine if I'm going to change the zoom and then look around for other solutions or other things about the graph, losing that point is going to be a huge pain in the neck. So I'm going to export it just like last time and just click label really quick. And how about I change the color to something different? And now if I, ch if I move around the graph, that point will still be there, which is really, really helpful. So how about I go back and let's say I didn't know K was 2.186, 2.1836. Let's say I just make it like one and I wanna play around with the slider. I can kind of watch what's happening as it gets closer to the point that I care about. So that's really helpful. Okay guys, here's another good use for this I found. This is a projectile quadratics height function. Uh, this is the one from my uh, advanced quadratics video that goes over, the, the section that goes over projectile quadratics. So if you wanted to click and find all these points of interest, like the initial height, time it takes to reach the ground, you'll notice, right, if I leave it like this, then, um, and let's say there's a follow-up question or something, right? If I leave it like this, and I click somewhere else, all these points are gonna go away. But now if I export them and I click label, those points will stay on the graph the entire time. And I don't need to worry about losing them. And I can very easily see that the initial height was 240 feet. The time it takes to reach the max height is seven seconds. The max height is 1,024 feet. And the time it takes to reach the ground is 15 seconds. All right, stop. I have something very important to tell you. Hey guys, if your test is coming up soon and you haven't watched my other videos, what's wrong with you? You can check out my Otocento course, which goes into a deep dive of many very challenging SAT math topics. About two weeks before your test, you can check out my Problem Set Day series, which goes over some of the hardest questions College Board tends to ask. And 
A couple days before your test, you can go through my DSCC math flashcards. They're short, about one minute lessons that help you review and memorize key topics. I hope this helps and that you knock your exam out of the park.